Happy May Day! May is also Skin Cancer Awareness Month, with over 5 million new cases of skin cancer diagnosed each year Skin cancer is our number one most common cancer. We all know that sun protection is one of the most important things that we can do, not only for the health of our skin, but also to prevent and delay and minimize the signs of aging. All of the expensive treatments and serums in the world are pretty much worthless unless we are properly protecting our skin. So, my good friend Claudia Glows and I thought it would be fitting to kick off the month of May with our third sunscreen roundup collaboration. If you have been with me for any length of time, you know how much I absolutely adore my good friend Claudia. Not only do I love her channel, Claudia Glows, but I consider her one of my very dearest friends. Claudia is a physician assistant by training, but she likes to say that she gave up her stethoscope for her yoga mat. Claudia is a certified yoga instructor and a personal fitness trainer, and she has a passion for skincare, health, and wellness. Claudia has a wonderful, well-rounded, holistic channel. Extremely well-researched skincare, fitness, tons of nutritional information, awesome what I eat in a day videos, and delicious vegan recipes. Claudia is stunningly gorgeous and she doesn't wear a stitch of makeup, so her sunscreen selections have to look really pretty on bare skin. I can't wait to see her sunscreen reviews. So after you finish this video, please make sure and go and say hello to Claudia. I know you will love her as much as I do. And if you are new here from Claudia's channel, a very, very warm welcome to you. Just a couple of SPF basics. It is recommended to wear an SPF every single day. I am putting my local weather report for the week up here. As you can see, not much sun in the forecast. However, I am wearing my SPF every single day. I just consider it to be part of my morning skincare routine. SPF in foundation is not enough. I absolutely cringe when I hear people say they're relying on their foundation to provide their sun protection. It might be a bonus, but it does not provide enough sun protection. You would have to literally put a quarter of a teaspoon of foundation on your face just to get the minimal sun protection that's listed on the foundation bottle. I have a whole video on this. I will link that in the cards and in the description box below. And lastly, one of the most common mistakes people make when applying their SPF is not applying enough, not using the correct dose, if you will. Think of SPF as a medication. If it takes two Tylenol to get rid of a headache, would you expect to have any relief whatsoever if you only took a half of a tablet? So again, SPF is dose dependent, just like a medication. In order to achieve the SPF that is listed on the label of the SPF, you need to take the correct dose. There's a whole mathematical equation for the dose, but typically we think of one quarter of a teaspoon applied to the face, one quarter of a teaspoon applied to the neck is the correct dose. That's a lot of sunscreen. It is way more than you think, and that is why most people really don't apply enough sunscreen. In today's roundup, I'm gonna share the six SPFs that I have been testing out for the past several months. Everything from super, super affordable drugstore to a little bit more luxurious high-end. My personal preference in SPFs is either mineral or hybrid SPFs. I just find chemical SPFs to be a little bit irritating to my eyes. For reference, I am 62 years old and my skin is very dry. And what I'm looking for in an SPF is something that looks nice either alone on bare skin and or that works really well under makeup. I still love and use my top five SPFs from 2021. I will link that video in the cards and in the description box below. Actually, I will list 2021 top five favorites in the description box, as well as all of the products that we're talking about today, as well as all of the makeup I have on my face. Everything will be listed and linked in the description box below, as always, so you can do your own research. Now in today's video, I'm not going to rank these SPFs. I am going to be demonstrating and reviewing them from the most expensive to the least expensive. 
time. And please, 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 I would love it if you would share your favorites and fails and recommendations and wish list in the comment box below. I always learn so much from you and I love the sharing that goes on in this community. Starting with the most expensive and that is Tatcha the Silk Sunscreen SPF 50 PA++++. This is a 100% mineral sunscreen with 10% zinc. 1.7 ounces for $60, making it $35 an ounce. Pretty darn pricey. It has a really lovely liquidy consistency. You can see how liquidy it is. It has just enough tint to take the white cast away. It has some really, really beautiful, beautiful skin loving ingredients. Of course, the SPF does come from the 10% zinc oxide, and it also contains natural plant extracts, red algae, and it has their proprietary hydrolyzed silk. It also contains niacinamide, squalane, rice ferment filtrates, green tea extract, elantoin, hyaluronic acid, iron oxides, and vitamin E. So it does have a lot of beautiful moisturizers and antioxidants to protect the skin. I hope you can see how beautifully it glides onto the skin. As it's being applied, it feels very light, silky, and moisturizing. In about 10 minutes, it does dry down to a beautiful, sheer, somewhat glowy finish. So it looks really pretty on bare skin alone. And I have found it to work really, really well under a variety of foundations. I am starting to hear from some other reviews that some people are experiencing a little bit of pilling with the Tatcha. I personally haven't experienced any pilling and I have tried it with a variety of foundations. So I absolutely love the Tatcha the Silk sunscreen. Beautiful, elegant, pretty on bare skin, beautiful under makeup. But at this price, I'm probably gonna be saving it for more special occasions. This is probably not gonna be my every single day sunscreen, but it is really beautiful. I'm happy to have it, and time will tell exactly where it fits into my SPF wardrobe. Luckily, I have some other really lovely SPFs at a much more reasonable price. Next sunscreen, and it is the Elastin Hydratint Pro Mineral SPF 36. This is a 100% mineral sunscreen, 8.9% titanium dioxide, 3.4% zinc oxide, and it is 3.2 ounces for $60, making it about $18 an ounce, so pretty much half the price of the Tatcha. It comes with a pump, and there is the consistency. It has a light, very light, sort of moussey, texture feels really really nice going on to the skin as far as the ingredients it does have some really beautiful skin loving and moisturizing ingredients it does have some dimethicones which gives it a very silky texture it has green tea which is an antioxidant squalane glycerin very moisturizing triglycerides vitamin e iron oxide as far as the application notes it has a light almost moussey texture as it's being applied to the skin, it feels very silky and moisturizing. Even though it does have some dimethicones, it doesn't have that heavy dimethicone-y, silicone -y feeling. It sets down to a slightly radiant, really pretty finish, and it works really well under makeup. I really, really love the Elastin. I love the texture. I love how it feels. I love how it looks. My only problem is the tint. The tint is ever so slightly just a little bit too deep for my winter skin tone i'm really hoping that as we get into the summer months and i get a little bit more color you know in the winter my skin tone is light medium and in the summer i go a little bit more medium medium so hopefully the elastin tint will match my summer skin tone a little better because this is beautiful alone on the skin just gives a really nice pretty radiant finish evens out imperfections just a little bit if you have a skin tone slightly deeper than I have, you might absolutely love this. Here's hoping it works well for me in the summer. Otherwise, I have a couple of friends I have in mind who would probably absolutely love this. Up next, MD Solar Science Mineral Cream SPF 50, fragrance free and cruelty free. 1.7 ounces for $30, which brings it to about $17 an ounce. 
3.4 ounces for $42, which makes it a really, really affordable $12.35 an ounce. Here is what the texture looks like. Nice, thick cream. Feels very light being applied to the skin. Here are the claims. Sheer weightless protection, like a cashmere sweater. Water resistant to 80 minutes, nourishes with antioxidants. Ingredients include zinc oxide 17%, titanium dioxide 2%. It does have six different dimethicones. It has tetrahexadectyl ascorbate, which is vitamin C, green tea, pomegranate, cranberry, vitamin E. So it is really loaded with some beautiful, beautiful antioxidants. Application notes. Even though the texture of the cream itself is very, very lightweight, it felt a little bit occlusive, like the cashmere sweater they talked about on the label. However, after about 10 minutes, it dried down really lovely. It no longer felt quite as occlusive. It still felt very protective, but no longer occlusive. It did dry down sheer, and it did dry down matte. Final thoughts on the MD Solar Science Mineral Cream SPF 50. Even though I wasn't crazy how it feels upon initial application, like I said, it felt heavy. It did dry down sheer, it did dry down matte, it does feel hydrating, it does feel protective. I do think it looks really pretty on bare skin. It does give a little bit of a blurring and a smoothing effect. It works amazingly well under makeup. I will say this is like a really, really good primer under makeup. Best of all, it is super, super affordable. If you get the 3.2 ounce, it is only $12 an ounce. So this is really a good one. I do recommend this. The last two SPFs are very, very affordable drugstore SPFs. First up, we have the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Face Liquid SPF 50. My friend Kiki, who has the channel The Hooded Lid, actually sent this to me because she thought I would like it. And you know what? She was right. It is a really nice, affordable drugstore mineral SPF. It is 1.7 ounces for $14.95, which is a really great price. That is $8.79 per ounce. It is fragrance-free. It says it's ideal for sensitive skin. It is water-resistant. And it says it's ideal under makeup. The ingredients include 12% zinc oxide. Yes, this is 100% mineral allantoin, dimethicones, niacinamide, and vitamin E. Application notes. It does spread easily. It has a silky moisturizing consistency. It does feel a little bit greasy at first and it does have a definite white cast. However, it does set down to a velvety, slightly radiant finish with only the faintest white cast. It is really, really good under makeup. Again, functions almost like a primer. And I showed the application and the makeup application in last week's video when I used this under L'Oreal, the four-in-one tinted balm. Final thoughts on the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Liquid Face SPF 50. Kiki was right, I really did enjoy this. I really love the lightweight, liquidy, silky feeling as I'm applying it to my skin. It does dry down to a beautiful radiant finish. Yes, it does leave a faint white cast. I couldn't wear it without any tinted complexion products. If you have skin that is much more fair than I have, the white cast might be fine for you. If you have skin that is more deep than I am, the white cast will be an issue. But as long as you're using some sort of tinted complexion product over it, it works really well. Actually, my friend Cindy, who has the channel Beyond 50 Skin, showed a demonstration of this with just some tinted face powder over it. I typically use a foundation over it. Anyway, this is a really super nice, very, very affordable, gentle mineral face SPF that is perfect under makeup. It's almost like a makeup primer. Lastly, and the most affordable, is the Aveeno Positively Mineral Sensitive Skin Sunscreen SPF 50. Two ounces sells for $14, $7 an ounce. That is a super, super reasonable price. It is zinc oxide based. It does have 21% zinc. You are gonna see it is a pretty thick, heavier mineral SPF that goes on with a very, very definite white cast. 
It does have some dimethicones, glycerin for hydration, oat kernel, vitamin E, fever few. It is really good for sensitive skin. Application notes. When I first started blending this into my skin, I got really scared. It was heavy and greasy and thick and white. I didn't think it would ever blend in. However, if you just take your time and really work with it and do some facial massage and just gradually blend it in, it really does over time blend in. This might be one where you would want to apply two layers, but in the demo here, I applied it all at one time. It did take like a minute or two or three to really just blend it into my skin. A good time to do a facial massage. Yes, it does leave a white cast. If you give it 15 or 20 minutes, it does dry down. The white cast diminishes. It's still there for sure, but it does dry down. And what I will say about this is it feels very, very velvety and protective and matte on the skin, but not drying. It is absolutely a gorgeous makeup primer under foundation. Final thoughts on the Aveeno Positively Mineral Sensitive Skin SPF 50. Most affordable for sure at $7 an ounce. You really can't beat that. Also most surprising. I have used this several times over the past few weeks and that initial impression that I had of that heavy, greasy white cast, it does dry down to a matte finish. It does leave a pretty significant white cast. So this is not a product I would recommend if you are not planning to use any colored complexion products. Having said that, it dries down to a really beautiful matte finish and it is a beautiful primer under makeup. I am wearing it today under my Sephora Best Skin Ever foundation and the foundation applied absolutely beautifully over it. So I'm really surprised at how much I like this. I love the price. If you are looking for a really good 100% very affordable hydrating mineral SPF that works beautiful under makeup, this is really worth checking out. All right, we covered six mineral sunscreens. Everything from the luxurious high-end Tatcha the Silk Sunscreen to the very affordable Aveeno and everything in between. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable. And if you did, I would love it if you would throw this video a thumbs up. That really helps support my channel and I very, very much appreciate it. And please, please, please share your favorites and fails and recommendations in the comment box so we can all learn from each other. And please make sure you go and visit Claudia. Give her my love. Her channel and her video will be listed and linked in the description box below. I can't wait to see what Claudia came up with. With all that being said, stay safe, wear your sunscreen. Happy May Day, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.